I'm Frank from Gallows and you're watching Label Networks. Hi, this is Bree with Label Networks TV and we are here with Frank from The Gallows. What's up? And I say the gallows, but it's gallows. For every bloody time, I think it's every single time you get it wrong every yeah. day. I tell yeah, you, every, everyone, the whole tour thinks it's the gallows. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I Do you just want to change your name? Um, I think we're just going to roll with it. Whichever people decide is better for them. I'm, I don't mind. I'm not fussy. So. And you've been asked this a million times, but what is a what's a gallows? What is a gallows? Gallows. Where is like? Where, what, where yeah. What? What well, were you thinking when you came up with gallows? Really, a gallows is where you hang yourself from, which is pretty grim. Um, right, that's, that's what I was thinking, it's yeah. quite dark. But actually, it's just um, it's from an interview with a, a children's author called Roald Dahl back home. Who's uh -huh. like a, he's an institution back home. Mm -hmm. And his illustrator, Quentin Blake, he, uh, he decided one day in an interview that he compared Roald Dahl to having like quite a gallows sense of humour, and that just struck a chord with us, like we're all... We've all got the worst sense of humour ever, you know, we find things funny that we just shouldn't find funny, so it was, it just stuck, you know, Gallows, we were amazed that no one had the name, because mm -hmm. um, it's such a great name for a band, you know, yeah, so we is. just, we so in fact, we got a lot of trouble for it back home, because people were like, what a waste, you know, of such a good name, what <laughs> So, um, have you toured the States before now, or this is the first time? This is our first time. And this is a pretty heavy experience for a first time, I've got to say. Warp Tour is the hardest tour you can do in the States, so... Uh, I think hey. Warp Tour is the hardest tour you can do, full stop. This is insane. Like, we've been on the road. The longest tour we've done back home was two weeks, with some days on and off. Mm -hmm. We did three, three, four, we've done a month now, right? Yeah. About a month. Yeah, coming up. Yeah, right. and we've got three weeks left, and I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> This is hard work, like, mm -hmm. every single day you wake up in another place that's completely different from the last, like, no state is the same in the US, so it's, it's been an eye-opener, but, it's, you know, it's great, I wouldn't change it for anything. But it sucks, like, being in a different state every day, but just seeing a car park and, yeah. the, and your bus, you know, you don't get to go out and visit, like, we've been trying, like, that's why I love playing early in the day, like, today we're playing kind of late. But if we play early in the day, I'll set up a taxi straight away and go out and do something. Because it's, it's good to get off site mm -hmm. as much as possible as well. Didn't you go to Disneyland the other day? No, we went to Universal Studios and oh, Islands okay. of Adventure. It was fucking amazing. And how are you finding this heat? You wouldn't really be used to this kind of intense heat. Every Casper the ghost. <laughs> so I've been, I've been struggling a lot, but it's... It's, it's part of the territory, do you know what I mean? You come over and that's what you got to deal with. And I noticed that you guys all have these fabulous new shoes from Nike that you helped design. Um, yeah. Do you have any other sponsorships and how did that all that come about? Did you wear Nikes a lot then? I, I'm a mad sneaker freak. I've got like 60 something pairs that I've never worn. Whoa. I bought I bought 17 pairs on this tour. Yeah, and I've just actually just did realized that I'm not gonna be able to get them home without putting them on a boat for two months. Uh, oh, so I just sad. started wearing them. Just started wearing a brand new pair every day, which is awesome. Um, so I think I'm just gonna donate loads of shoes to people over this tour. I've got really small feet, oh, I'm a so six. Do I, so do I. I'm, a, I'm a US seven, what are you? Oh, this could work. There you go, you can have these after I'm done with them. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's the most amount of money you've ever spent on one pair of shoes? Um, you don't want to admit it, do you? Uh, no. I want to know, though. Eight hundred dollars. A pair of trainers. <laughs> what ones were those? There were some Nikes back home by a pushead, and they're just everywhere sold out. Um, and I found a pair, and they were like four hundred pounds. So that's eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Thank you for watching Label Networks TV.